guys. I have a bit of a sad situation here. And I thought I would let you guys see before I pull it out and see what's going on here and we'll just discover what's happening um, together. First off, I have a lovely weed, as you can see. <laughs> this um, pot is pure pumice. And so it hasn't had much moisture at all, but um, these guys don't take much moisture and they're just growing happily. And so anyways, that's kind of funny. Um, and then you can see that some of these guys are looking pretty, pretty sad. Now what happened is I just went out to check uh, my tent and um, a few of these guys were pretty stressed from the sun, if you saw that video, or from the grow lights, rather. If you saw that video um, where I had a oops and left the grow lights on for, I don't know, a week almost, solid. Um, and some of these guys got pretty stressed um, and shriveled. Well, since then, I just went out to check on them, and I was like, why is my tent open, and where is the heater? And it's gone. So my tent was left open and the heater is gone. And I think what happened is we've had ex extremely cold weather here as there has been um, in most of the north, um, <laughs> um, east and west coasts. Um, but it's been really cold, you know, seven degrees or so. Not not like in the in the minuses as, as it has other places, but still for us here in Idaho, you know, having zero degrees and one, two, three, you know, seven below 10, you know, is kind of, is pretty chilly for us. And so during that time, um, my husband's work trailer froze, which it has a heater that is built into it, um, but it just wasn't enough to keep it going. And my husband does hardwood floors for his living. And um, so there was finish and, and a bunch of things that, that needed to not be freezing. And he woke up to find it all frozen one morning. So I'm guessing my husband isn't home and I haven't been able to corroborate this story, but the only person that could have stole it is my husband. And the only possible explanation I can think of is that he stole it to put in his trailer because the wood stove was burning in the shop when he took it and he thought, you know, it's warm in here, her plants don't need it, I'll just borrow it. And then forgot to put it back and forgot to tell me. And um, so these guys have been, you know, they haven't frozen um, but they've been a lot cooler than they should be and so they got double stressed um, first from sun and heat and then from cold and so I'm just gonna un unpot these guys and check their roots and see what's going on and determine what to do from there so I'm guessing what I'm probably gonna do is cut back their roots a bit and treat them like cuttings and put some heat under the bottom and just really baby these guys. Yep, there's no rot. I'm not sure how good this is um, focusing. There's no rot or anything on, um, on these guys, but they're not growing either. So um, I hope I'm not really loud. I'm afraid I'm talking really loud because the mic is really close to my mouth here. So I'm, I'm really sorry if I'm yelling at you guys. Um, but that being said, I, I, these guys are just not, um, it's not that they were so dry that they shriveled up here. They're, they're too spongy. They're not coming back to life um, like they should. And they're not wet, they're not rotten, but they're not absorbing the water I'm giving them. Um, you saw me water them in a video a few weeks ago and they should have really plumped up. So what I'm gonna do is just lay some of these guys in my tray here and I will deal with them later and just check and see if we've got the same thing going on with all of them or not. Yep, these guys just aren't perking back up from being shipped. Um, this this was an order that I did. I imported these guys and um, it was pretty cold and I was a little uncertain how they would do and then they got delayed in customs uh, for a couple weeks and um, I was curious to see how they would um, perk up but I'm not certain they're doing a great job so um, these guys are gonna come out also pruning their roots back can just stimulate um, sometimes the, the this looks um, worse than it is and the plant is just stressed and comes, you know, comes back fine. I'll move this just a bit so you can see here. 
um, but sometimes it needs just a little bit of a jolt and um, a little bit of a, a prune pruning of the roots can help if if that doesn't look like it's going to perk them up I may end up uh, cutting off heads and doing cuttings with these um, but like I said since there's no um, rot or anything but they just they don't look like they're getting um, any nutrition from the main roots uh, which is what's making me think I'm gonna end up starting some of these from cuttings and seeing how they do um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little guy off got a really sharp knife here which works really well and what I'm doing here is looking at the tissue on 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 the root stock so I've cut just a little a little grouping of these heads off because these um, as you can see here maybe these are really shriveled which they shouldn't be they should be um, let me pull out a little healthier clump here to do a little comparison yeah you can't really tell really well on these guys because um, of the paper husk that kind of coats them from year to year but you can see that these guys are a lot thicker and um, more woody the stalks and just um, if I were to cut into one of them which I don't really want to do on that one right now but if I were to cut into the one of them the um, the center would be firm and white and on these guys just gonna peel it back here and see what we've got going I know it's really scary to do this um, when these are your precious babies, but um, often this is the the best slash only way um, to save them when the heads have kind of disconnected from the base and aren't getting aren't getting nutrition because the little stalks have died. So I'm just checking this here. Sorry, you guys. It's a little bit boring. I didn't realize my lovely, really sharp knife has a chip on the end of it, which is making it almost impossible to get a clean, um, a clean cut on this. But this is definitely not doing well. the The center is still white, so it's not completely. There we go. Mm, I think I may have spoke too soon. I think I think these guys may. The stems may be a goner. All right, because, yeah. Mm. Yep, I'm going to end up treating these guys like cuttings, which this is going to take too long to just do on a whole video. There we go. There we go. All right. If this will show up, I got the little paper husk peeled back, and you see this little white... Sorry, it's really hard for me to tell if this is showing up. This little white stem. This is, this is a healthy little... Well... To say this is healthy, it might be a stretch. I'm not positive, but it's not completely dead. This this lovely little white um, white stem. I'm going to put these guys in some sand, probably, which usually I don't use sand, but in this case, with where they're this shriveled, um, I think sand is going to be uh, the the way I will go um, to try these. And I am going to give them some um, heat up from the bottom. So I'm going to put them on a little heat mat and um, see if they'll recover for me. They may not. I, I knew it was a, a risk when I got these guys, um, but I, a lot of times those risks, you know, pay off. So sometimes I, I dare to, to order um, from either new places or a little bit later in the season than I usually would because if with winter being their active growing phase um, they it's it's nice to get them good and established over the winter and so ordering a little bit later in the year can sometimes work out well all right um, I'm not even sure if this is gonna be helpful for any of you guys I, I if this is just totally boring I apologize but um, it's not super often that we pull these guys up and just really um, mess with their roots. I'm gonna pull this up just a snidget so that you can see my hands a little bit better when I'm when I'm not close to the dirt. Um, this guy is still doing great. The, the stems are nice and plump, but the roots are not growing. Don't know if you can see this. They're just, they, they look dead. They look uh, very similar um, as they did when I received them in the mail, um, which is just, 
normal for bare root shipping, but they should be perking up um, by now, and they're not. So these guys are going to get a little trim. I'm not going to cut all the heads off and um, proceed like cuttings, but they are. the roots are going to get a bit of a trim. These guys are um, doing pretty well. Uh, they have been, yep, 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 okay, good. I was hoping one of them would be um, in a, you know what I need? I need a really dark, so I'm gonna try to steal my son's Lego block here and see if this helps at all. Maybe, I don't wanna knock all of this off, but this guy is a good example of, let me see if I can get this to focus anymore. This you can barely see here, hopefully. See the new white healthy roots that are just poking through? It's, it's, it's um, attached to a few pieces of the pumice. And from this, um, from this stalk, this, the, the little root cluster has new white, they, they almost look moldy. They're fuzzy white roots and they're, they're growing out, which tells you yay. This guy is healthy and is producing, well, it may or may not be healthy, but it is producing new roots, um, which is exactly what we want. And um, this guy just needs a little bit of a drink. You can see he's a little shriveled, um, but because I wasn't positive if these other ones were, um, what was going on with them, I didn't want to give any of them a drink until I double checked to make sure no one had any rot going on. And this guy that I pulled out earlier, um, you can't see very well which I apologize, uh, one of these days I will get a, a better camera, but I, I'm into plants, not, not technology so much. So, but all the, this pumice is attached, whereas you can see with this, it's just, there's nothing attached. And the reason it's attached is because the pumice is really porous and these little fuzzy, hairy roots just kind of uh, grip onto it. And so I'm not gonna pull the pumice off to show you the roots better, but this one has a lovely little cluster of lovely, happy, fresh roots coming out of it also. And while we're here, we're just gonna check all of these guys. When I buy new um, mesimes, a lot of them in general, I just plant them into straight pumice until they're, I know that their roots are starting to develop. And then I put them into a, a different mix that, that uh, works really well for me. Um, but these guys have their roots developing, so that's fantastic. And on these healthier ones, I'm sorry you can't see, this is a little bit low here, but on these healthier clusters, I'm going under with, with a utensil and kind of pulling up instead of just grabbing them from the top. The only reason I grabbed these guys from the top is because I knew they weren't happy and weren't gonna. I wasn't gonna be damaging their roots doing that. But with these healthier ones, we never know how far the new roots may have gone. This one was just um, a really small stem. Um, it was a cutting and, let me pull this up here. And it has a lovely new little ball of roots. And again, I'm not gonna, not gonna knock these off, but there's beautiful white roots coming all through this pumice. So this guy's ready um, to be transplanted into something else. Um, this guy, yep, another cutting as you can see, and no roots. So when it pulls clean out easily, um, that's, that's not necessarily a bad sign, but um, it tells you there's no roots. However, there's little white just barely, barely, barely roots coming out in several places. So this guy is healthy. I'm going to scrape um, a little bit of this away, um, possibly to give the new roots a little bit more um, chance and probably damage a little bit here, which will stimulate um, growth. And I use the word damage um, lightly because I am very purposefully going to be um, doing it. It's not just random damage, but um, certain amount of damage will stimulate new root growth. All right, and here's the last one. And this guy looks like he's sending out some new roots, but just barely, it's just barely getting started, which is why some of these are more shriveled because they really can't absorb any moisture um, when they don't have roots. And so um, they, that's why you can water and water and water and it won't, it, it won't plump up if, if their roots aren't actively engaging um, or growing. And so like with this guy, just because there's a whole, a whole lot of roots, and I put that in quotation mark, because they're dead, so they're doing the plant no good. It, it's not able to absorb moisture. So that's why it's looking like this, no matter how I water it. Um, the roots just died. Um, 
probably um, in shipping or being bare root too long um, from the vendor um, before I got it. And because they died, and uh, this is the hard thing if, if you import plants, and they come bare root is that because they have roots attached a lot of times we we assume that they're ready to get water and and we don't treat them like a cutting because why would you want to cut all of these roots off until you know if they've died um but if you wait too long then they um they shrivel too much and then they die attached to the stalks here and then they can't get the nutrition they need even if it starts developing roots which it won't because it's not getting the nutrition that it needs. Um, and so then you have to go to a lot more extreme measures sometimes, and a lot of times it's too late. But um, so it's kind of a, it's hard to know when you, when you get plants in whether to immediately cut off um, a good portion of their old roots or to wait and see if they're viable um, or not. But trimming them, which I think this batch, I was really sick when it arrived. And I don't think, especially looking at this, I don't think I trimmed any of these guys. I think I just threw them in with their tags and went, please survive until I can <laughs> deal with you. Um, and so I should have definitely trimmed the roots just to stimulate new growth on all of these guys. But this guy here, um, I'm gonna, let me, let me double look now, I'm forgetting. Yeah, he's got a, f a few little pumice pieces that are attached, but not real great, so I'm gonna trim a bit of this um, old root ball away and peel back some of these layers here um, and probably put him in with the cuttings also just because there isn't a lot of new root growth. But this guy that has a great little little stem there, as you can see, growing, and these two guys are um, great. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing. Oh, no, here he is. I'm like, I'm missing one. <laughs> Who belongs with this tag? But it's a very, very tiny one here. And this guy, which you're probably not going to be able to see on him, he's he's a one, one little pod, and he's covered in his little... Um, husk but he has a few little new a few little new hairs root hairs growing out on him as well but he is so small that I am definitely going to put him in with the cuttings also and for these guys for conifidum especially um, having the bottom heat seems to help on cuttings so I have heard from everyone so that's what I'm going to do especially this time of year um, with them being cold they're gonna they're gonna go on bottom heat for now. Um, usually I avoid that with my succulents, which is why I mention it. Um, I don't use a lot of bottom heat with them. They don't generally like it. They um, they kind of like their roots chilling out a little bit cooler for the most part. So um, that's why I mentioned, because it's a little bit of an exception when you're, when you're rooting these guys. Okay, um, this video has gone on plenty long for this. Um, I am going to say goodbye for now and deal with these guys a little bit more. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, don't let your husband steal your heater for all of your plants without telling you. <laughs> no. Um, thankfully, I, I think hopefully none of them have frozen. I haven't been able to look at the whole tent yet. I just grabbed this one, which looked the worst, and came in. Um, and came in. But yeah, hopefully none of them are frozen. But we shall see. You guys may be seeing a few more videos with sad conifidum if I had them frozen. But if they are, I will show you because I'm all about showing the good, the bad, and the ugly, not just when they're beautiful or looking perfect because everyone has plants um, die. It doesn't matter how good or bad of a grower you are. You are going to lose plants every year because they're alive and they just do their thing, right? But anyways, yeah, I will show you what becomes of this and talk to you soon. Happy growing!